Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today is the 26th of June, 2024. Let's see what's in the energy today for Pisces. So just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. Take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, Pisces, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to be receiving the messages. Messages for Pisces. What does Pisces need to be aware of? Spirits. Okay. First card of the reading today, you have Pathway. Then you have Bad Health. Expectation. Okay, you could be not feeling very well at the moment, like myself. You might be sick, you might have a cold, but you might not be feeling well. You might be feeling depressed. You're sitting in expectation energy. This could be another energy around you. Someone that you know could be in hospital, could be sick. I feel like part of the path, Pisces, is feeling your feelings, um, but I feel like there's something coming, okay? And you feel that too with the expectation coming out. You've got the courthouse on the back of the deck. So there is a ruling coming, and you know this. You can feel it in the energy. What are you waiting for? Wow, look at that. I didn't even know that card was in there. The Magician. Virgo energy. Oh, there's another one. And the Six of Pentacles. Could have been someone you were giving to. I feel like you are receiving something that you have manifested. Okay, you're receiving some type of karma. So I'll just leave those cards over there. One more shuffle. Okay. Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Cat is running around crazy if you can hear it. You have the sun. The yes card, happiness, healing. The page of wands. Then you have the wheel of fortune. Oh my goodness, the cat is running around crazy. Then you have the Fool. Center of your reading today, Pisces. The world, Capricorn energy. If she ends up coming close to me, I will put her on camera. She is always being the little co-star of the readings. You have the Empress. So completing a cycle in the center of your reading, Pisces. Turning over an, a new leaf. Leaves have really been coming out to me today. You know, a leaf falls from the tree in the autumn. And then a new leaf grows. So there's like a, a rebirth in your energy. Some things don't last forever. 
too. That's coming out. You've got the Nine of Wands. The Five of Wands. There's a bit of conflict here in the future. Well, not not doesn't have to be conflict. It could be someone fighting for, you know, what they believe in. And then you've got the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment. On the back of the deck, you've got the Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Pisces energy. Fives have been coming out the last two days. To me, you may have been seeing the number 555. Fives represent change. Let's do it, Pisces. What is the sun? What's the sun for Pisces today? You have the Emperor, Aries energy, the Three of Wands, turning towards the sun, and the Ace of Cups. Okay. With the sun, Leo energy, that could be significant. There could have been conflict in your past. Someone could have made you walk away. Uh, I feel like this person's now regretting that situation because you do have the Five of Swords coming out. Someone that just wanted to win. But they made you walk away. And when you walked away, you seen the sun, okay? You seen the happiness, the peace, the calm. This is you. Happy Barra, <laughs> that song, the Happy Barra song. But yeah, I feel like there was something you walked away from. You turned your back. You've got the Three of Wands coming out. This could have been with someone that was an emperor or someone that has Aries in their chart. It doesn't have to be someone that's very stern, cold. Look at him. He has no emotion at all. Someone that is just cold. He is wise. The Empress also set in his ways, okay? This person could live at a distance, but I feel like there's some type of new beginning in your energy. Now you've turned away, you know, a new beginning, whether this new beginning be in love, this could be with someone that does have Aries in their chart, but I feel like there was some type of conflict that you walked away from, um, and now you're sitting in that three of wands energy, turning your back, waiting for the new, and there is this new beginning that is here, okay? What is the page of wands? What's the page of wands? You have the Eight of Swords. So the Page of Wands can be a messenger. You've got the Knight of Swords. And the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. You have the Devil on the back of the deck. Capricorn Energy could be significant. Someone that could have addictions. <clears throat> A messenger could be a younger energy, could be someone that has fire in their chart, but they're coming in um, with something passionate. Coming in with words to say. So this could be this person that you made you walk away. As I said, that Five of Swords was on the back of the deck, someone that makes you walk away, but it's realizing that um, they made a mistake. Okay. So I feel like this person then rides straight back in again. You've got the Knight of Swords. Air energy could be significant. Being a knight, um, this person could come in and out of your life. Someone that has words to say. Um, 
and they could be hurtful, you know, sharp. You've also got the hanged man coming out. Pisces energy could be significant. This person's stuck. There's something about being stuck in their head. They're coming in with a message, with words to say, uh, sharp words also. But they're stuck. There's something in that they're imprisoned in their mind over, okay? And I feel like, Pisces, you do see this from a different point of view now. You are looking at this from a different point of view when this person does come back in with these words to say. What is the Wheel of Fortune? What is the Wheel of Fortune for Pisces? You have the Five of Cups. So this person coming in could cause some kind of conflict. You've got the Wheel of Fortune and the world coming out. So there's like a cycle being completed. You could have healed from this person also. To me, you're working on yourself. There's some type of evolution in your energy, um, evolving spiritual, spiritually, mentally. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy could be significant. This person's coming back around again because I feel like this is what they were feeling when they made you walk away, okay? Someone that's feeling the loss. This person knows that these cups cannot be refilled quickly. You know, these are going to take time, um, but they're lost. There's like this having to start at the beginning again. They could live at a distance. Capricorn energy could be significant. You've also got the moon, Pisces, Cancer energy, and Sagittarius with the Wheel of Fortune. You're taking a new turn. You're taking the right turn. You're hopping out of your emotions with this. You're completing this cycle. I feel this person's holding things back from you. The devil did come out before also. Um, but you're ready to complete that cycle. You want the new. You're ready for the new. There's something about cycles completing, like circles are really coming out to me at the moment. So completing a cycle and starting new. It's like you know the moon. It's like you know the moon. You are the moon. You know what path to follow, okay? And you know to trust the moon. You know, the moon is divine. What is the fool? But you're completing those cycles because to me there is a lot of conflict in the past. But then there's this birth. You got the fool coming out. What is the fool? You have justice, Libra energy. The page of swords. So you will receive your justice, you will receive your karma for completing that cycle, for leaving that cycle, for taking a new leap. There's a leap that you're taking into something new in your energy, something that you're learning. And then you've got the Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is like a student, but you're going to receive karma because you are, as I said, learning these lessons, leaving these negative things in the past, leaving things that no longer serve you to start this passionate new beginning. And I feel like this passionate new beginning is going to bring in everything you desire, Pisces. I feel like you just need to take that leap over the edge. There's a birth of a new idea. So there could be something new you're starting. You've made a plan. You've thought about it logically. Got the Ace of Swords on the back of the deck. This is something passionate and this is going to bring in 
your karma. I just feel like you need to start working on it. There is a student energy here. So it's new. This thing that you're doing could also be reaching the world with the world coming out in the center of your reading today, Pisces, Capricorn energy. You, there's the world right there. They don't normally actually have the world or earth on there, which is pretty cool. Pisces, what is the world? Because that looks like Pisces too, because it's two fish. You have the five of wands. So whatever you're doing, there could be a lot of competition. You've got the queen of wands. And the chariot. So you're making these plans. And this is something you're doing alone. You know, the chariot is there's one person sitting on these two horses here. I feel like there's a, a lot of momentum behind this. There's a lot of ideas, whatever this thing is you're doing, this new start that you're going to be to begin, that you're going to start. Look at it, it's going to lead you to victory. This is going to be something big, Pisces, okay? This is something you're passionate about and you're going to fight for it. Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, you are the Fire Queen. You are this passionate queen. You're going for your dreams, okay? You're taking one of those sunflowers with you too for the sun. So it's like you have healed. There's healing energy while you move forwards. Learning lessons. There could be someone that you could collaborate with that could live at a distance. Capricorn energy is really coming out. It could also be a feminine energy. Someone that you're going to make some plans with about working together. So there could be someone coming to collaborate with you on this new journey that you're starting. What is the Empress? What's the Empress? You got the fool. You're ready to take flight. You're ready to start this new journey. You have the six of swords and the eight of wands. Okay, so you're ready to take flight. This has taken a long time, I feel, to get going. With the knight of laurels, which is the knight of pentacles, he is a slow mover, but he's the most reliable, okay? because he does um, study all, I feel, all the things before they do come in. They study everything before they do come in because they do want to come in and be solid, okay? So I feel like you're getting your things together. You're sadly leaving something from the past, something that you may have obviously had no control over and I feel like with the fool also coming out is showing you that we don't have any control over these circumstances that happen in our life we just need to go with the flow okay with the fool coming out you're ready to take flight something to do with the full moon could be significant also But there is this, look at her taking action. She's just ready. She's ready to go. And I feel like you are. There is something that you're thinking about before you take flight. Maybe your emotions, letting go of those emotions before you move forwards. But when you move forwards, this is going to move very, very quickly. And this is going to be something big. Okay, I can see it. You're taking flight with this idea. What is the Nine of Wands? What's the Nine of Wands for Pisces? The Ace of Laurels. Horses have been coming out also. Horses could be significant. And then you've got the Four of Wands. 
Nine of Wands. <coughs> Wounded warrior energy. Someone that has boundaries up. I feel like this is you, Pisces. You know, when you when you're up here, you're leaving a situation that is hard to leave, but you know that this is the right thing to do. So there is a bit of pain I feel in your past, but you're ready to fight for the new. You're ready to fight for this new world, something solid. Happiness and a connection also. There is someone coming in here in the center of your reading. This could bring in a relationship, something solid. This could also be something that this person is fighting for. They want to come in with this solid, solid start into a new world. Okay. So you could be collaborating with this person in business and in, in a relationship, you know, take what resonates for you. Um, but Pisces, I do see there is someone wanting to come and collaborate with you. Um, whether that be, as I said, in the material world or with love, but you do have the four of ones here. So, and there's these two people coming together, happy. You sit in the wounded warrior energy, you know, I feel like you're going to fight for something. There's something you're fighting for and it's going to lead to success, commitment, a new start. Then you've also got the five of wands, okay? So there's someone here that is very attracted to you. As I said, you could be collaborating with them or you're just friends or something, but I feel like this person feels more for you. They could be someone that's very attractive. They could be someone that has fire in their chart. Someone wanting to fight for this. This person has had a past, okay, with the Nine of Wands coming out also. So I feel like you both have boundaries up, but I feel like you've both learned some lessons in your life, but you're coming together, okay? This is a soulmate. I just can't stop looking at that card. Like there is this connection. There's a connection that's coming together in the future. What's the Five of Wands? You have the Page of Laurels. The Five of Swords. And the Ten of Laurels. You have the Five of Wands coming out. Pisces, you may have options. Okay. I feel like there's a bit of competition here. You've got this Page of Laurels. Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. To me, this may be that energy from the past that keeps coming in and out of your life because you do have the Five of Swords here. They want to start something new. I feel like this could be someone that you had a blended family with. This, you could have been married to this person. But they're going to fight for this because they realize, they keep realizing that they want, they fight you, but then they want you back. Okay. And I feel like this person has like addictions, some type of codependency. They have something that leaves them stuck in this energy of doing the same thing all the time. What is the nine of cups? What's the nine of cups for Pisces? The Nine of Cups. Nines could be significant. 
the Six of Laurels. And the Six of Cups. Six, nine could be coming out to you also. On this person's mind is that you're a wish fulfillment, okay? So you're going to have to make a choice, I feel, in the future, Pisces, whether you want um, who you want in your life. There is a few energies around you that are trying to show you that they are eligible. But I feel like this person from the past, there could have been some type of breadcrumbing. I feel like they're coming in with a gift. They're looking at those old memories. Someone that wants to come in with a change, that wants to come in with making you happy. Um, because there's something about them needing like your help. So you could have gave a lot to this person, okay? You could be someone that's healing this energy. Something about a gift, though. And I feel like, as I said, this person looks at you like a wish fulfillment. And this is all they have on their mind is that they want to come in again. So they just keep coming in. But in the future, they may come in a little different, okay, than they have in the past. So let's grab all these cards out and let's do these last two cards on the back of the deck. So what you don't see, you've got the Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess. You got the Three of Laurels or the Three of Pentacles on the back of the deck. This is someone that could be watching you from the shadows or, you know, that sounds a bit creepy, but, you know, someone that's holding back their emotions. They just sit there and watch you. What's the page of pentacles? You have the world. So this person could live at a distance. I did see distance in the reading. You have the King of Cups. So they want to come in with communication, with something solid. As I said, a gift could be coming out. They could be a younger energy. This could be someone that you were married to in the past, as I said, um, with the King of Cups coming out. And then you've got the Eight of Cups. So this person could have walked away from a situation in their past. You could have walked away from this situation also because I feel like, you know, that's you looking up at the moon. Like you left, you left the situation with this person because I feel like this person may have not given you the full honest truth about things. This person holds a lot of love. As I said, they could live at a distance. Something about distance is really coming out sunflowers also this person is like someone that feeds off the um of good people i don't know um you know what i mean like someone that needs healing But there has been a cycle completed and I feel like this person's wanting to take a new turn. What is the High Priestess? You have the Three of Cups, Temperance. And then you've got the Hierophant. 
So this person is going to come in with some type of communication. Could have been about a third party situation with the Three of Cups coming out, but I feel this person, they want reconciliation, okay? They wanna heal the connection. I feel like you have healed from this. I feel like you know that there's a higher calling for you and you're following it. There's some new idea that you have, okay? You've learned the lessons from this with the Hierophant coming out, Taurus energy. You've healed. But I feel like you know this person's coming back again. And I feel like you know that this person is trying to change. You know, that's coming out. Okay. Pisces. So you have options, but there is these ideas that you have in your mind that you're focused on at the moment. You're not focused on anyone besides yourself right now. I feel you may be sitting in that expectation energy, um, but you know, the divine feminine, she does sit in, you know, receiver energy. She puts something out into the world and then she's waiting for it to come back. Let's do two cards for the collective. Always on my mind, Pet Shop Boys. Wind of Change, Scorpions. Let's grab out, before we do the Celtic Spirit Oracle card, there is a truth that this person brings forward. Let's see if we can find out something with my Shell Mermaid Angel Messages card. We'll just grab one card. What's the truth coming out? What is this truth? So I did see that also with the High Priestess card. That this person is connected to you in the 5D. I feel like they're trying to tell you messages in the 5D. And we'll grab one more. What does this person want to say? Then you've got, as I said, circles are coming out. That's triple O. Okay, so triple O in Australia is 911. Okay, the emergency number in Australia, it's triple O. So, obviously, you call that when there's emergency. There could be an emergency. Um, something to do with... We did see that bad health card. So, there could be someone that's not feeling very well at the moment. Um, I also feel that there is a new cycle coming with this person, okay? So whether you want this person in your life or not is up to you. Everybody has free will, whether this person has changed or not, whether this person meets a certain level that, you know, you have in your life. Has this person changed for the better? Pros and cons. Um, just remember having these boundaries up are for you in the end like as much as it hurts not having these people there in our lives um, and how much you love them and care for them it's not worth um the stress that you get stress ages you and the problems and the manipulation and everything that they bring into your life is it worth it no it's not Okay, because when these people aren't in your life, life is a lot better. And I see that you're seeing that. You see what you deserve, Pisces, and you will receive it. Okay, 
So let's do that Celtic Spirit Oracle card now for the collective. One card for collective. Gwyneth, the mother, nurture, present. Being in the present moment, going with the flow of life. It's a five also, as I said, fives are coming out. Gwyneth, the mother and the present. The mother is happy with her little fairy sprites and the energy of Gwyneth is all about nurturing. We were talking about like divine feminine energy, which is the mother. Nurturing is an aspect that one can give to others and also give to oneself. It's a beautiful thing to help others, but many times it is so detriment of our own health. We forget to put ourselves on our prior priority list. We hear too often that you cannot drink from an empty cup. Caregivers must drink from this cup first in order to be of benefit to others. Gwyneth may be asking you to look at where you are not nurturing yourself or being nurtured in your life. Are you living the life you wish? Does anyone in your life give back to you or support you in your time of need? Are you tired, overwhelmed, stressed or giving too much of yourself? It may take time to give back to yourself. So that's what I was saying. Having those boundaries up, you know, are these people draining you? The elementals know that this reality is time poor as we fit far too much into our days. So they ask us to take small steps to look after ourselves. Read that book you have next to your bed for 15 minutes a day. Go for a bush walk. Have a cup of tea outside in nature without taking your phone with you. Gwyneth's message is also one of being present. Slow down. Stop thinking too far ahead and be present with yourself, your loved ones and life itself. It starts with integrity integrating the small things and once it becomes a habit you'll find you start increasing these small gestures and feel much calmer and peaceful for it okay so always thinking about yourself first before you think about others you know pisces are very giving people um but we need to remember we gotta refuel ourselves to give to these other people okay so I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember, all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, being here every day and sharing your energy. I love doing these readings for the collective. I love hearing from the collective. Everyone is so lovely. Um, you know, and I wish you all the best in your future. Okay. But I love you all so much. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Um, but I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.